Your highest rated non-QB is Maurice Hurst, in interior defense, Michigan. Why do you have him where he is, considering I haven't seen him on other people's boards that high? I think the biggest thing with him and what really shines through in our system is just how well he's graded. He has graded extremely well every single year of his career. The production versus the run versus the pass as a pass rusher has been there. There's really no question marks about his on-field play. The only question marks about his body. You know, is he that is he that athletic enough for it to translate to the next level? Is he big enough for him to hold up against the run at the next level? And when those are your only question marks, when you can't question anything he's actually doing on the field, we're gonna we're gonna be high on a guy like that. Yeah, and at 290 pounds, he gets this undersized label. But the best two defensive tackles in the NFL, Geno Atkins, Aaron Donald, both in that range. You have guys like Mike Daniels, Geno Atkins. Um, sorry, Joel uh, Casey. Yeah, Trail Casey, Grady Jarrett, I'm sorry. There's a whole, a whole bunch yeah. of 290 to 300 pounders that are great. <laughs> Hurst had the highest grade we've ever given in interior defensive linemen in 2017. And we have three years of data that shows guys transitioning from college to the NFL. And our defensive line grades have been fantastic at projecting guys at the next level. So it's one of those where you have to trust the grade and then you go watch the tape and it all backs it up too because he's got those traits that you want as well for a disruptive interior lineman.